I'm just a every hello hey we hey what's up guys Maris here welcome back to Undertale Yellow this game this Undertale game guys is insane and if you missed the first part you have to go check it out because you're not gonna know anything to what the balls is going on right now so get your butts in that description click that link because that's where part one is waiting for you guys because obviously now we are on glorious part two and it's good to be back so enough of the chit chat here we're gonna get straight into it boys we're gonna get right into this game and see what's down here hello Anyway, it's getting darker. Okay. Should I go down, guys? <laughs> Okie dokie, then. Yep, gonna trust whatever the heck's down here. Why not? Oh, hello. You got lovely shiny eyeballs that made a lovely sound to boot. <laughs> hey, there you look, y'all. You look like a little Pokemon called Noibat a little bit. <laughs> Slightly. Dekibat makes his presence known. Sure thing. Let's act. Talk. Dekibat hushes you uh, furiously. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. Hey, I see. Not moving. Not moving at all. Dekibat twitches his large ears. They are very large. Can I pet them? Can I give him a little rub? I know you'd like that. <laughs> you'd really like that. Okay. You don't want me to talk, so watch. You watch Ducky Bat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Okay, so maybe we've got to keep doing this. Maybe. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Hey, I see. Why am I still getting hit? I moved. I flipping moved me. <laughs> what happened? You watch Ducky Bat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Okay. Hush, puppy. I was being silent though. Oh, hey, I see what you're doing. I see what you. Oh, I'm still getting hit. Flip. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> I just got so confused, guys. Ducky Bat gives you a nod of approval. Sure thing. He looks like he's liking it. You want to think about in silence? He seems to appreciate it. More quiet, please. Okay. Wait. What are you doing? You're rumbling in the caves there. Because all the spiky debris is going to well tingle my balls and I ain't going to like it. <laughs> I think I got hit by one. I can't remember. Uh, keep watching. I, I think we're doing well here. You want to think about it in silence. He seems to appreciate it. You hear that? No? Good. <laughs> okay, then. Hey! Whoa! Wow. All the new attacks in this game, guys. Incredible. I'm loving it. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm really liking this fan game right now. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. You want to think about in silence? He seems to appreciate it. Sweet silence. Oh. Oh, and the music's gone too. Hey, that's amazing. Okay, that was awesome. I didn't really do that well. I got hit a few times. But then technically, I did do that well, guys. Because look, I came out alive and I spared him. <laughs> so yeah, actually, I did well. Hey, you're actually blue. Okay. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor to keep it. Hush, hush. Bye! <laughs> what? <laughs> I kept it in for that long, guys, okay? <laughs> I needed to shout when he left. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't chase me now. Imagine that. Hey, okay, we've got a save point. We only had a save point just before him. I suppose there was a challenge there. Luckily, I managed to do it first time. Hey, Flowey, why did I forget that you pop up? Howdy. We're going to continue on here. Hey, who do we have? Hey, Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Well, I'm your friend, boy. In the name of Diggly Dan Justice. I'll talk to you, man. <laughs> Crispy Scroll. Yell. That doesn't sound very pleasant, but let's give it a go. You join Crispy Scroll in his exciting yelling. Oh, he did like it. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? It depends what I'm referencing, man. It oh so depends. Okay. Crispy Scroll is 50% powered up. Is that good? <laughs> Yell again. You join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. <laughs> Wonderful! 
You're gonna have to take it out on me though, boy. Because I was joining you on your lovely yelling and whatnot. Can I, can I, um, spare? Ooh, I can spare. Oh, look at his face, guys. He's so pleasantly surprised that I spared him. Oh, hey, another puzzle, I see. Okay. I can, oh, never mind. I can't press down on them for some reason. What the, oh yeah, I gotta press them, that's what. Okay, here we go, simple stuff, guys. This is from Bebes. This is for, actually, what's up here? Never mind. A sturdy looking gate. It appears to be locked from the other side. Hmm. Isn't that something? All right, well, we're gonna get these top row done here. Oh, okay. Oh, you flip, no way. No way! <laughs> that. So they... Okay, I think I understand. Okay. So that one. I'll say it, your boy. Your boy is the boy! <laughs> there we go. I'm certain that that gate we still can't get past. There were some spikes, I think. So maybe they're deactivated now. Can I leave? Every time, it's like, I'm not allowed. What'd you, what'd you say? I swear you said something about Sendere. I don't actually know. But we're just gonna run here. Because we already spared you, man. You shouldn't be trying to fight me again, to be honest. Unless it's another one of you, I guess. Because for some reason, there's more than one magical scrolls. Why not? Hey, dear. I, um... <laughs> They didn't think that was gonna happen, honestly. <laughs> What's over here? Can I jump down to my doom? Because wouldn't that be lovely? In the name of justice! Okay, we're going down through here, guys. <laughs> lovely? What's this? I seem to recall what I once saw so often. You did? Tell me more! What I remembered, it seems, is now forgotten. Okay, you got another little story from me here? So then, never mind, I guess. Ben was getting oh so interesting. You nearly put this boy to sleep. A little kid he's got out of his bedtime story before he has his sleep, you know. And it nearly happened, but you kind of ended it just very badly. So it, it kept me awake. <laughs> we got a maze, guys. Hello. Hello. Never mind. That doesn't actually do anything. Hello. Oh, no. I can't get through because of game logic. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Hi! It's a stray feather! Take it? Why not? What's that do? Use... Hey! Accessory! Feather! That's gonna get us a long way! <laughs> just gonna tickle our foes until they just beg for mercy, guys. Of course! Wouldn't be surprised. There's another one? That ain't fun. Do I have to be quiet? Do I, like, do that? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll just try and sneak past with all my Metro Gear Solid experience. I'm... Oh, there's cracks. Oh, I see. I understand. Yep, there we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, was in that swell. Oh, why am I... Oh, not me anymore. He's decided to play his own game. <laughs> In the name of justice. Okay. Question mark, question mark. Yep. Again, I'm oh so real. How are you there, buddy? Um. Hey. Wherever you are, please leave. But in the name of justice. <laughs> I need to justify what the balls I'm doing around here. So I'll do anything to help out anyone. How are you doing there, Flowey? Howdy. Not too far now. Just got to deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. Okay. I, I'm still, like, pushed away by the fact that you're oh so nice. But it makes sense. This is the prequel game, as we knew, but... If you guys remember, I mentioned this in the last episode, but Flowey said he tried using his powers for good. And that's what's happening here. It's fantastic that they remembered that piece of the lore. It's amazing, man. It's something that could have been overlooked, because I kind of forgot about that, but that's amazing. It's, that's awesome. There's corn on the cobweb. I need it! I'm a hungry boy! I haven't eaten for weeks! There's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it! 
Why not? That sounds beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Corn dog. I used it for some reason. Don't step on the flowers. Lovely. <laughs> oh, hello. We're now on this side when before we was on the other side. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, what's with all the corn though? Very strange. This game's got a fetish for corn. <laughs> Don't know why. Is there a, hey, there's a sign I want to quickly look at. What's this? Property of Dalv? That monster in the cloak. No trespassing. I see. Okay. Hello, Dalv. I know your name now, so now we're automatically best friends. <laughs> You're still following me. I thought I made it pretty clear. I want to be alone. But I'm your friend. <laughs> How did you even get in here? There's no entrances, so... Did you just appear? Uh, yeah, in the name of justice, boy. <laughs> Is that how things work now? And what house gets full from the sky? I mean, even if that is how it works out there, that's not how it works in here. First, it was those stupid, concerned neighbors trying to get in. Then those Snowden kids just looking for entertainment. Snowden kids. Who are the Snowden kids? Maybe not Papyrus or Sands. They're probably a lot older than kids, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now it's... Yes. Probably a fight, isn't it? Because you look very mysterious. Your design looks like you're ready for battle. <laughs> well, I don't even know what it is. Probably a duel. <laughs> Regardless. There's no exit. And you can't stay here. Oh no. Hey there. Oh, you removed your cloak and it didn't really make much to actually it did make much difference. Never mind. <laughs> Only one thing to do. Oh, it's any kind of cute guys. Hey, I said you were cute. That wasn't cute. Dolph musters his fighting spirit. Okay then. Gotta give you a handshake. Cause that's what people do when they greet. Dolph doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. Because he's a rude man. <laughs> I don't suppose you can just get out of the way you came in, could you? That would be easier for both of us. I probably would if it was possible for me to fly back up or something. But honestly, I'm not sure if that's the case. So yeah, I kind of have to go through this way to be honest. So if you moved, that would be better for the both of us. Stal seems to be dreading his next attack. So you don't really want to fight me. I'll just keep talking, I guess. Dove does not seem to value communication. Where did you come from anyway? You don't look like you're from Snowden. You probably wouldn't even last a day in that climate. But I got my lovely leather hat and whatnot. It keeps me out so warm, it's incredible. So, I beg to differ, boy. I might survive. <laughs> we'll just have to see about that. If you let me pass, that is. That one takes a break to brush off his cloak. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> it feels Dalv is too focused to hear you. Actually, what are you? Don't mind my asking. I'm just your ordinary, everyday, genderless child. Yep, nice to meet you. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Dalv takes a break to brush off his cloak. I thought Clover was a boy, but a lot of you guys are saying it could be a girl. So yeah, maybe it is another genderless human, guys. I thought this one was catered more specific to being a male, but it again could go either way. So whatever. Who the flip cares? <laughs> Who the balls cares? It appears Dalv is too focused to hear you. You don't look like one of the monsters that lives in the ruins. Besides, they know the rules of my home. Oh, okay. What about Godmama? Hasn't she ever visited you? You know, dropped off some snail pie or, or some cinnamon rolls or whatever? No? Because um, she's got flipping amazing cooking, mate. You're missing out. <laughs> Dalv assumes an intimidating facade. I'm running low on health here. I got a candy corn. Why not? So if you are from around here, you can't say you weren't warned. Hey! Hey! Whoa, that's, that's, that's something. Holy flip. Oh, what the? It's like it's moving with me, but not quite. That was weird. Dalv assumes an intimidating facade. Okay. I'll just keep talking, I guess. It feels Dalv is too focused to hear you. Maybe I'll try mercy. Um, really? What are you? You're kind of creeping me out. I'm just your every hello. Hey, hey, hey! 
Every day, every genderless child. That's me. Holy heck, I got hit at the last second there. Dal seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. What about if we spare? Can you at least stop giving me that sad face? Didn't you understand? Hey, I didn't expect that for some reason. Oh, God, you're kidding. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, I'm low on health again. No, guys, no. I'll spare again. It's nothing personal. I just have to protect my home. I'm not gonna do anything to your home. Nothing at all. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a weak kid. What could I do with my rubber bullets? Seriously. <laughs> Check it, the ammo. It's, it's, it's not dangerous at all, I tell ya. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna die probably, guys. We're gonna talk again. It appears Dalv is too focused to hear you. What's even the point? What am I protecting it from? Exactly, man. You look so helpless. I never should have attacked you. Yeah, exactly, man. This wasn't right. Yeah, please don't get me that last second. I need to think about what I've done. Eh? This got out of hand. I'm not going to fight you anymore. Woo! I've become the monster I feared everyone thought I was. That's right, man. That's right. Here we go. Go on. Don't, don't do anything crazy at the last second. Please. Please don't. Spare. Okay. Handshake. Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand? Even after I attacked you? But that is a sign of friendship. I mean... Is it the same where you come from? I don't know. I... Are you asking to be my friend? Gee, I'm, well, a little rusty at friendships. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to be friends. I mean, I think. I don't remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Yes. Oh, boy! Isn't that something, guys? Boom! You got spared, son! dot 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 <laughs> What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have time. Sure, mate. Oh, I'm so excited. Do you have any games consoles? You got the Wii U or the PS4 or something? Because I'll beat you at those games, man. I'm an avid gamer. And I'm pretty dang good, so... Prepare, boy. <laughs> I have to um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. Uh, actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. Ah, oh, no worries, bud. No dang worries. We're probably going to snoop around here if you don't. Never mind. I was going to. All right. I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like. Okay. Let's look at some stuff, I guess. Why not? You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colourful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. Ah, Isn't that so adorable, guys? Ah, I sometimes kind of forget what colour things are outside this place, so I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. That's, that's good. <laughs> you got a little flipping point there. It might not be as educational, though. Nah, but it's all in colours, mate. It's all those wonderful colours. <laughs> What's this? Your fridge? I don't know. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it? Why not? Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be alive then. <laughs> to be honest. Already know my shortcomings. <laughs> but thank you. That, that makes me feel a little better, I guess. <laughs> okay. What the world? He likes corn? Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Wow, okay. That's, that's insane. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning, it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but... 
Somehow, I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day, they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down there. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Yep, just look at that picture, guys. Alrighty, okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's look at something else, okay? Sure, man. That's probably your private room, that's fine. Oh, hello, the way you teleported there. Where's wonderful? I think I'm just gonna leave. Never mind. Are you ready to leave? Yeah, man, let's go. If that's what you want. I'll lead the way. Thank you so much. You're so, so kind. I'm loving it. Okay. Very long corridor you have there. <laughs> well, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You've really helped me out. Because of this. I'm leaving this place. Okay. I'm tired of being alone. It would take a few days to pack up. But I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talent show. I can publish my novel, ha have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. <laughs> well, isn't that, well, just corny. <laughs> that that was not the right time, was it? Just all right then. Thanks. <laughs> I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately okay. <laughs> so much to learn, so much to teach. Very excited. Ah, oh, um, oops. <laughs> there I go again with my rambling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, it seems the exit's blocked off. Let's see. Okay. Hey, with his man hand! <laughs> there we go, you're all set. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you later, I guess. Friend. Ah, oh, thank you. No hug? Could have really done with a hug. <laughs> I haven't got a hug since I left my mummy to randomly climb up a mountain and fall down and nearly die. Depressing times, guys. Depressing times. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, doesn't this look wonderful? Ah! And it's probably ended, hasn't it? I saw that coming with the way the guy slowly walked out into the light. It was just telling me it's the end. And yeah, I think it is. Undertale Yellow. Master Sword Remix. Spasco, Mystery Racer. Incredible, guys. You've done a phenomenal job. Fantastic! This was only the demo, guys, so of course it ended here. I'm pretty sure there's a whole another length to go in the full game, so get your butts prepared for when that finally hits! Because you know I'm gonna be checking that out. Amazing. It's so faithful to Undertale. Incredible. But it's new at the same time. That's what it's great about it. There's new things to be had here. But it's also so faithful to the original Undertale. And that's what makes this one of, if not currently, the best Undertale fan game. Incredible stuff, guys. Loved it. So, we did the pacifist route, I guess? So next time, if you guys want, and tell me in the comments section, I'll go and do the genocide in the whole one. We'll do it in one video. I'll skip things if they're kind of the same. And then, you know, we'll get on to see the new things and we'll see what happens in the genocide mode of Undertale Yellow. So again, if you guys want to see that, tell me in the comment section down below. And definitely smack that like button for this incredible Undertale fan game. Again! Insane stuff here. Amazing. Thank you guys for even watching. Again, hit that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.